This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers of Baltimore back here with another episode of Sakura Wars. In the last episode, we started the new day. Anastasia gave her a roll over to Sakura for some reason. I guess she thought she was the bee's knees after her after Hatsuho's chapter turned into Sakura's chapter at the very end. I'm not going to stop being salty about that. I'm not. Uh, found Clarissa's new book, which she finally accepted us for that, and uh, got some bromide. So let's go to Samir and see what she has to has to say. Let's go. Let's go in and see what the manager. There you are, Kami. I have a job for you. Oh, what sort of job? I have an idea where this is going. I'd like you to advertise the Christmas show in front of the Imperial Theater. We may not be able to use our usual stage, but nonetheless, trust we can make it into a truly memorable performance. The public may have doubts, though. They may need some encouragement and reassurance. Got it. Special event prom promoter Sedro Kamiyama is on the job. That's the spirit. Good luck, coming on. Samir is right. We need to make sure the public sure no uh, knows that the show is still on. All right, time to drum up hype for the Christmas show. Come snow, come sleet, come shine, come sh slight. The show must go on. What do you have to say? Anything else? I can imagine your eager desire to see the Christmas show. The outdoor stage is far from ideal, but I'm sure you won't let it distract you from your performance. You trust in your team too. They'll do just fine. I'm sure they will. I'm grateful you never lost faith in us. Hmm. Did she lose faith in us? I think she did on multiple occasions, but she'll never admit it. Never will. Okay, anyway. Uh, after that, we need, uh, we actually need to go outside, I believe. Yeah, but uh, before we do that, let's talk to Kamachi and see what she has to say. She got a new quest. Well, some some amount of a quest, anyway. Hey, Kamachi, you know, I need some of your wisdom. I want to add a new product to my lineup. I'm talking luxury, high-quality merchandise, not some cheap trinkets and souvenirs. That's a great idea. Smart of you to mix things up by offering better items at a higher price. Right? So if you could throw in some suggestions at me, that'd be great, because I'm stumped. Sure, nothing comes to mind right now, but I'll definitely think about it. Much appreciated, Kami. I mean, you're the man. I am the man. Ah, Sakura. What the... That screen came from the dining hall. What's going on there? Hmm. Sounds like some lady thought Sakura was in danger, but... Oh, no, no, it's just two random ladies. Huh. Do you see that? I did it Sakura Ava Mia in the flesh. She passed by the second floor and she waved at me. The flower division is so cool. Uh, I guess... No, it was just a couple of fans screaming in excitement from seeing Sakura. We got some seriously passionate fans. I'll never understand, like, just crazy passion like that. Like, I like things, but I'd never go that insane over that. Fans like them are the only reason we'd even be able to put on a show after all that's happened. Your support means the world to us. Hey, you, what's your deal, huh? Just some guy just creeping out. Yeah, you've been saying they're watching us for a while. What gives? Nah, if I was, if I was a famous actor, they wouldn't mind. What are you? Oh, you're just some creep. Creep? Uh, no, actually, I'm a member of the Grand Imperial Theater. I take the tickets, yo. Yeah, right. Should we call security? Who is our security person, anyway, actually? No, I can't cause a scene here. Not right now. What should I... Oh, I have an idea. What do you mean? What are you going to do, Kamiyama? Wow, look, it's... Radioactive Man! No? No. Okay. Sakura, Samir, Sedro, it's me. It's -a me, a Sedro! I can't think of anything. I'm not very good at distractions. They're gonna kick me out of here, aren't they? What is it? Who's there? Um, uh, never mind. <laughs> I ha you're too I'm too dumb to talk to you. I have to go now. Hang on, I've seen this guy at the theater before. Is he the ticket collector? Whoops. I guess I pressed a button. I mean, all it does is it tries to skip the dog. Oh, well, he does really does work here. I bet you get the same option, uh, same response if you say your name. Is that the mayor, Kamiyama? Oh, that's probably. Wait, who is that? No, it's Samir. It's Samir. It's really her. She's breathtaking. How do you do? Are you fans of the theater? Of our theater? Yes, ma'am. 
and I appreciate your support. I'll see you in the audience at a Christmas show, I hope. Oh no, she just, she killed some people with her finger gun. Oh, wow. Huh, she really did kill them. I guess you still got it, even for an old lady. In a realistic way, she's probably only like 30 or something like that. Actually, I think if you look at the thing, it tells you what her age is. Because by the time her game comes up, she's like 17 or something like that. And then this event is uh, 15 years later. So, oh, wait, I guess she would be. I guess she'd be possibly in her closer to her 40s, maybe, depending. But anyway. Wow, look at the smear light up a room. Even in her retirement, she's a superstar. Hmm. That gives me an idea. An idea for a sophisticated, high-quality accessory. Come on, she's going to love this. And if you say so. Oh. Uh, wow, Samir is absolutely stunning. She's a living legend. I'm totally awestruck. Yeah, sometimes you get a little stuff like that after events, but... Kamachi, I've got an idea for your newest product. It's called Moving Pictures. No, I call them star bracelets. They're luxury bracelets that instantly make you feel like a superstar whenever you put them on. How'd you get that from seeing Samir? That is gold. You're a genius, Kamiyama. I have a wrong voice. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks to you, we've all got some new merchandise to sell. I'm gonna make us a fortune, uh, my good friend. Now it's Kamachi's time to shine. Man, Kamiyama, the best idea I've ever had was talking to you for inspiration. You're gold mine. And since I appreciate you and all, I got a little present for you. Whoa, a bromide. I could just have this? You sure it's okay? Yep, all yours. Don't be shy now. Take and think of it like a good luck charm. Kiara and I were going to be rooting for you no matter what. So if you feel down, it's a reminder that we're all behind you. Oh, and she gives us a bromide of Lancelot? Okay. 58. Lancelot is in the London Combat Review. Her friendly smile bel belies a fiercely competitive nature. Let's have a dull. I don't even know this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think we're done with everything here. Okay. Time to go outside and uh, work to promoting the show. Uh, where do we want to go first? If we just want to promote the show, we just go outside. Uh, let's go uh, see Shenlong. Go see the... Uh, Shay Long and um, Yui, or Yu, or Yui, or I don't know. Something like that, anyway. This place is packed with customers. Looks like their business is doing pretty well. It's a lot of work just for the two of them, though. Maybe we should offer them a hand. Or not. I don't have to do that. I'm just seeing what they're saying. Hey, Ray, Grumman Girl. Let me see. She's listening to them. talk. Hey, dude. Whoa, Kamiyama, you're just in time. You're not too busy to lend us a hand, are you? We've got so many customers, and you is dying out there alone. Can you take orders? Shouldn't you hire more people? You want me to wait tables? Um, sure, I'll do it. Sure, why not? It's order taking time. Order to, that, actually, well, shouldn't it be burger time? From the game? No one? Okay. <laughs> awesome, thanks. Welcome to Shenlong. That new customer is all yours. Go get him, Kamiyama. Yeah. Oh, hey, Zami. Hey, w welcome. Oh, hey there, Zami. What are you doing, Tejiro? Standing in for a waiter. Oh, speaking of which. Welcome to Shenlong. You don't currently have any tables available. Would you mind waiting until one frees up? I don't want to wait. But I can't kick someone else out of here. Or, I can't kick someone else. I don't need a table. I just came to get food. I take it back to the theater, so you can just take my order now, right? There are lots of things on the list, though. I hope you can remember them all. I have an excellent memory, a zombie. Fire away. Yeah, right. Me and you, me and him both. First off, Miss Kanzaki and Kara's orders bomb, bomb ramen and the sweet and sour pork meal deal. Next, Sakura's golden fried rice, Claire's one in Ginza Bayo, Bao, I don't know. Dragon fried rice and fried jizo for Hatsuho. And Hatsu said she's starving to make hers first. And make Anastasia's order before Claire says she wants extra hot maple tofu. Kamachi and Chiba both want garlic chive manju. They're okay with waiting. That's all. I'll carry each person's order back separately as soon as they're ready. Don't get the order of the orders wrong. The order of the orders with the order. Uh, okay. I think I've got it. Man, couldn't she have written it down? Hopefully I don't get things mixed up when I tell Jialong what to cook. Uh-oh, we're on a timer. 
Sorry, Zombie, can you repeat the take? <laughs> so you just repeat again. First, Cedro. First off, Miss Kanzaki and Karu's orders. Bomb ramen and the sweet and sour pork meal deal. Next, Sakura equals golden fried rice. Where's one? Gains the bow. Dragon fried rice and fried jizo for Hatsuo. Hatsuo. Okay, she's just repeating her. I don't know if she's going to say anything slightly different, just to like for joke purposes. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, okay, does anyone else have orders? I guess not. I guess it's just them. Oh, I forgot about this one. What do you say? No, oh, they changed their dialogue every once in a while. Yeah, I whenever they can leave. No time to go anywhere. I need to handle a zombie's order. You know, better rush to it. We better do this. The action music is, is, is sorting. It's going high. Aim high, Air Force. We're running. Let's see. Can't come here. Signature. True. That's where the kitchen is. I don't think they want me to go in there. They want me. Uh, he'd get in the way. Yep, sure would. Shell is just sitting there going, uh, Call me, I'm going to tell me the order. Why are you just standing there? Dude, I'm talking to you. Hey, how are you listening? Yeah, might as well. I mean, they're just going to get pissed off at me, but. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing, Kamiyama? Come on, man. You're only getting in our way. We'll handle this. You can leave. Cedro, you're really lame. Oh, sorry. I'll make myself scarce. And thus the day was ruined. Thanks to Kamiyama, Cedro Kamiyama. Well, anyway, I guess we ruined our friendship again. <laughs> Let's see what the fortune teller has to say. Fortune teller is there, dude. And, okay. Cool. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's go to... Because I think at least if... Uh, oh yeah, I need a... Well, no, I can do that when I go back to the theater. Never mind. Because uh, yeah, there's the... Uh, the there's the... Uh, oh. Oh, a raid? Huh. No. I don't want to do a raid. Just let it go to voicemail. Whew! Didn't want to mess with that nonsense. Hey, newspaper. Let's see what it says. The Imperial Combat Review does it again! The Imperial Combat Review advances to the finals after besting the London Combat Review. After an unexpected turn of events, all of Tokyo is basking in their triumph. Despite the possible odds, the Imperial Combat Review will now compete in the finals. Perhaps they're just as surprised as we are. Who knows? Or perhaps it was their unwavering faith in themselves which led to a miraculous victory. Can they keep their momentum and win the finals in the Central style? Tokyo awaits with bated breath. Good luck, Imperial Combat Review. Huh, looks like we got a few fans. I won't let you dial down. We're going to win. Because the story says we have to. So you think they're... Ah, yes. So this one gets us. Uh, Kana Kirishima falls in love. Maidens, a snapshot of Kana and Ogami's daily life. I don't even understand. I don't even understand my own feelings. I feel like I, she would be my favorite out of the group just because she's got the Amazonian um, look to her. But who knows? Like I said, I'm not I'm not familiar with that specific. Well, only vaguely aware. Oh yeah, we never did have a scene of like Arthur and Lancelot on here. Did they really head back to your England? Yeah, we never really had a scene of them like you know, kind of like before with Shaylon and Yui. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Uh, but yeah, with Shaylong and Yui, there was like a whole scene with them. But this, it just goes to like whatever Sakura was dealing with and uh, and all that. But we never hear about what happens here, so it's a, I guess it's a nice way to find out. But I guess they're not here. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Hey, call me all over here. Oh, hey guys, I thought you'd already gone back home. I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't be breaking down crying or anything like that if it was in their review. We've been bought down by legal formalities, you know, seeing no paperwork and such. Are you return to England? Well, quite the contrary. We're expanding our stay here in Japan. Let me guess you become weebs now. Oh, really? Why is that? The advent of Yaksha, the proliferation of greater demons. These are the troubling times in Tokyo. Amongst other things. If we stay a bit longer and investigate, we may uncover the reason behind these anomalies. 
Except you probably won't. It'll probably be uh, it'll probably end up finding the bad guy before anything really comes of it. So right, noble you. I think it's safe to say that we're all lucky to have the London Con review on our on the job. Your words are kind, however. We can no longer call ourselves the London Combat Review. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pour salt in the wound. And not at all. We were stripped only of our name, after all. Wasn't there a song like that from Bravely Default, though? I am still the knight who's taken an oath to fight in the name of justice. That has not changed. Or sing a, a, a whip out a wicked metal, a heavy metal song. Plus, we stay at Tokyo. We have an off-the-record off rematch. <laughs> Thanks, but all I think I'll pass. Alright, uh, we're off then. Best of luck with your Christmas show and the match against Berlin. Thanks. We'll give it everything we've got. Thanks for that. I wish you the best in your difference, Kamiyama. Can't wait for my rematch with Sakura. I'm gonna have to take you in a duel too. Maybe, maybe not. I doubt that'll happen again in the story. I mean, sure you could say off screen, but yeah. Oh yeah, I never, uh, I never talked to Akashu or Akushu or whatever. I don't think you can actually talk to her. I think she just, um, she just stands there or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I was able to see Tokyo with my own eyes. Yeah, she's just kind of just hanging around. She's busy with her own own stuff. Um, uh, where do we want to go to next? Um, uh, let's talk to Elise and Marguerite. See what they're doing. Yeah, because they're the next opponents. I assume we fight them at the end of this, uh, end of this chapter, and then we kind of, and then chapter seven is probably the final, final, like, setup for, uh, for, you know, the fight with Yaksha or whatever is going on with her and all that fun stuff. And then eight is the cleanup. Or, I don't think there's technically a chapter 8, it's like technically the finale, but you know what I mean. Hey, Elise, what are you up to? Oh, Kamiyama. Viva just residing the Zwartzen Sun. What's that? Is it like your theme song? Theme song? Theme song? Don't make me laugh. It's military cadence. Oh, okay. Serious stuff. I get it. Well, I'll leave you to it. Stay. This is perfect. I'll teach you all cadence. What? No, that's really okay. Perhaps you learned something about my review from it? It won't take much of your time. Uh, but, uh, alright. I'll try to sing along as best I can. Does anyone remember those sing-alongs with Disney? The Disney and the sing-alongs? They did all the old themes. Are you ready to recite the Schwarzen Stern? Uh, see, yes, yes. I assume you don't want to yell because, uh, actually... Because, obviously, that would be a bit uh, over the top. Kamiyama, don't shut! It's unseemly, and you're disturbing the peace! Maybe we should be responding this in public, then. Sound off! A soldier's true state comes from... Hmm. Now, resolve, kindness, aesthetic sense. For the gift of dance, we dress to impress! Mm -hmm. I've never heard this before, ladies. I don't know. I have no idea. Exactly. How can you call yourself a soldier if you can't even answer? Next of us! Soda! The most important weapon I have is... Uh, let's see. Uh, Eisenjager, Marguerite, Marguerite, and Peanut. Peanut? The best elephant ever! I don't know. I have no idea. These people just forced me into... How can you be so ignorant of your soon to be opponents? Next of us! Set off the building combat of your fights for. Justice Central Con. They fight for me. Me, me, me. Sausage! Well, they're known for the brat. Vatwurst? I don't know, that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I would have said sausage. How can you call yourself a soldier if you can't even dance? Alright, that's fun! Sent off the World Combat Review of United with the Desires for. See, well, they got mad at me once I was too loud. Maybe they won't get loud at me if I'm too soft. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. A uh, piece? It's like he whispers it. 
And you would say it with more conviction, but yes, peace is what we strive for. That concludes the cadence. Thank you for joining me, you too. Well, thanks for letting me join, I guess. Whew, guess that's it. How'd I do? Kamiyama. Lousy recitation for a captain. Join my review if you want to learn a true discipline. Thanks, but I can never leave my own review. Pretty, but you do fit in better with them, I suppose. Heh. <laughs> you may come to regret your choice. We will see you soon at the World Games. Hmm. Well, wait, what did they say? Brown kind of review salutes. Oh, okay, they're just doing the strikes and then. Did that really say the same? Oh, they kind of mentioned them. Okay. But still, not interesting! Alright, uh, let's see, I think Romy's the last one. Yeah, because uh, uh, Zombie's grandpa isn't available. We've already talked to those folk. And... Maybe I might double check the... Uh, might double check the uh, park just to see if there's anything there. See what Hiromi's... Last time we talked to Hiromi and drank something strange of hers, we uh, got a lot of hot to host. Hopefully it's nothing that strange this time. Hello, Kamiyama! Hello, hello! What are you looking for today? I'm not looking for to buy anything, actually. I want to ask you about that uh, hot to cider. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Hush, that's a trade secret! I'll have you know, don't go planning about it in public! Trade secret? Hey, I literally became the guinea pig for your little trade secret. Don't you at least owe me an explanation? Hey, I just left it out. No one asked you to drink it. Anyway, I've got a brand new product in today. Wanna try it? Is this a trick? But I, uh, you just... <sighs> sure, why not? What'd she give me? Did she just shove it in my mouth? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, how do you like it? Well, as far as man, oh, she shoved a mandarin in her mouth. As far as mandarin goes, it's got a pretty unique flavor. What type of flavor? It's it's very refined. It's like fried rice. It's pretty greasy. I don't even know. What, I really don't know what actually mandu. I mean, they explain mandu, but I have I've never tasted or seen it. So, I mean, you sort of see pictures. Of, wait, what's that sound? I don't know how to describe it. It's weird. Why are there bird noises going on all over the place? Then it's perfect for you, weirdo! What the? Hey, who calls me? Wait, what? It's, it's me! That's right, the one and only. What? No, I mean, yes, there's only one, Sedro Kamiyama, and that's me! Sorry, but you got it all wrong. I'm the real Kamiyama! Actually, I'm the real Kamiyama. Pfft, you wish. I'm the real Kamiyama. You're the real Slim Sari, please stand up. Are you all delusional? I'm Kamiyama. Or is that then? I'm Spartacus. And I'm Kamiyama Man, the world's most beloved superhero. What's happening? There's so many of me. I'm, I'm nothing but a clone. There's so many of me. Me, 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 me. Even though I used that line already in this episode. Hey, get a grip on yourself, Kamiyama. Everything's just fine. Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine because we're... Kamiyama! We are one! No. No! No! <laughs> it just zoned out. Huh? What the hell did I just see? <sighs> Welcome back! You alright? You totally spaced out for a minute there. I totally spaced. Were you fantasizing about your crush or something? Hee <laughs> hee. I, I guess I love myself too much in more ways than one. My crush? No way, I saw a bunch of... You know what? Forget it. Forget it. Hiromi, that man's you. What was in it? Yeah, what is in that thing? Why did it make me hallucinate myself? Huh, you sure? You want to know? It's a secret for a reason. Though you don't seem like the type to get traumatized easily. Easily? Traumatized? Maybe it's best that I never, ever, know. 
girls all bubbly and creepy, like, back to back. It's kind of scary, actually. Alright. Let me see. I don't think there was going to be anything else. I uh, know there wasn't anything there. Or there. Or there. At least as, as I recall. Let me double check here really quick. I thought there was something here, but that maybe at another um, part of the game, maybe. Oh, okay. Never mind. There was something there. Oh, bromide. I thought I, mi I missed one. Actually, I missed quite a few over the course of this game, but, uh, well, whenever we get to the finale or end stuff, I'll, I'll talk about that more. But for now, let's forget that I ever said anything. All right, it's time to promote the show. And you probably know what I have to do for that. Yep, it's peanut. It's Oh, it's peanut butter jelly time. But before we do that, let's see if they have anything for the backstage special. Finally, the new issue of the Imperial Theater backstage special is out. Let's see what the this Ask of Flower Division is about. Now, where's the advice column? Ah, here we go. Question, what is a superstar and how do I become one? Answer, a superstar is what we call only the most well-known and the talented performers. They often take leading roles, but no matter what part they play, they shine in every performance. However, rising to the top and becoming a superstar is no simple task. You need to have a strong sense of dignity, unparalleled elegance, fierce determination, and the courage to challenge yourself. That seems a bit... Eh, whatever. Keep aiming high, Air Force. Settle for nothing less than perfection. You'll find yourself on the path to become a superstar in no time. Like Kirby Superstar? Wow, that article really inspired me. I need to strive harder for success, and winning the games is the perfect place to start. T ticket Collector's Confessions. Wait a minute, I'm the Ticket Collector. Every theater has a ticket collector who checks all the tickets at the entrance. If you think it's a job so easy that anyone can do it, then you're gravely mistaken. It is a job anyone can do. This job requires the speed and precision to tear a customer's ticket exactly in half without causing a holdup. Except, well, as a course of the game, yeah, but now times, everything is digital, so you don't even need physical tickets half the time anymore. I mean, some places still do for, obviously, low-tech or whatever reasons. But this job requires the speed of... Oh, wait. Uh, causing a holdup. Taking the taking the ticket, tearing it, keeping half for the theater, and returning the other half to the customer, every movement must be exact. At the same time, the ticket collector must verify that the stage, seat number, and the name of the player are all correct. Most importantly, however, it's, it's greeting guests with a friendly smile. The theater's experience starts the moment a guest walks in the door. And since the first staff member a guest interacts with is the ticket collector, we always want to leave the best first impressions. No matter how hard my day's been, I'll greet you with a smile because I take pride in what I do. Never forget your ticket collector. On your next ride out of the theater, we'll be here to welcome you next night outside. Enjoy the show, the Grand Imperial Theater Ticket Collector. Excerpt for Ticket Collector's Confessions, Chapter 16, Author Unknown. It's gotta be me, right? I th I'm trying to remember in my soul on my love, I'm trying to remember what the main character in that did. Because it was the same thing, it was the girls were the stars, but he was... I'm trying to remember if he was also the Ticket Collector. I don't think so, I think he was something similar. Like, I think he was just the greeter. But it didn't say anything about collecting tickets. But that would be... Maybe they all are ticket collectors. Maybe that's the joke, is all the male characters are... Don't act in the show, and but they just do, like, side stuff for the, the theater or something. The Christmas show. When? December 24th. Evening. Where? Outdoors. Or, sorry, when outdoors. The performance of Miracle Bells will be led by Sakura Amamiya. Oops, for some reason the next button wasn't going to the next line at all. Maybe my controller's trying to wear out. Tickets can be purchased in advance right at the door. For details, acquire at the ticket office. We invite you to come join us for our very first outdoor theater performance. We hope you enjoy the play. We hope you enjoy the ride. Ah, uh -uh. The Flower Division. Show's just around the corner. I have to do everything I can to support the girls. All right. Okay, now let's do the peanut stuff. And then I think we'll call it after that. I could use this peanut platform here. The girls are busting their butts, but I'd better do my part to spread the word about the show in front of the theater. Shouldn't you go somewhere else to bring people to the theater? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, it's Peanut. Hey, folks, the Imperial Review is going through rough times, but we still, we're still alive and kicking. In fact, we'll be putting on a special show for Christmas Eve, and you're all invited. I should, probably should do a different voice for Peanut, but whatever. Oh, that's great. I thought you would be any show since the stage was busted. Yeah, it takes a lot with a busted stage in the face. A Christmas show? 
I'd be such a sucker for, I'm such a sucker for holiday specials. Yeah, I, I tend to watch Rankin, the Rankin Bass Christmas stuff every year, too. Please come see... Please come see the Flyer Division on stage. We'd be honored to have you on our show. Is that Sakura Amabia? Is it really her? Oh my god! I'm a huge fan, Miss Amabia! I wouldn't miss your show for the world! Thank you so much. We'd be nothing without fans like you supporting us. I really do hope you enjoy the show. Really nice of Sakura to help me promote the show. Okay, I'll go the extra mile, too. Doesn't she know I'm Peanut? Or am I... Oh, well, actually, no, I think Mirror is the only one who knows I'm Peanut. Come see the Flower Division perform the Christmas classic Miracle Bells. This may be our greatest show of all time, so don't miss it. Wow, it seems like everyone's excited to see the play. Good job, us. Why are you talking to Peanut? Shouldn't he technically be an automated creature thingy? Uh, what am I talking to you for, Peanut? You silly elephant. Hey, elf. But people remember Bumbar. No one remembers Bumbar anymore unless you live in France. Although I might as well get something off my chest. You won't judge me, right? I don't know. I seem to be judging right now. So I'm going to be performing the leading role in America Bell's performance. Okay. I mean, it seems like a big job. It's definitely a huge honor, but a very, very afraid it won't be good enough. Don't get me wrong, I'm beyond thrilled. But? It's just, I'm so new at this. What if the audience thinks I'm awful? What if they boo me off stage? I'll do it. I'll say boo. Or boo earns, depending on my mood. I hate seeing you doubt yourself, Sakura, but what can Peanut do? What can Peanut do? Wait, what am I saying? Peanut can put on a smile on anyone's face. Okay, here we go. Balut. Balut. Or Balut. I guess it doesn't really matter in this case. Peanut? Are you trying to cheer me up? Ah, thank you. I suppose it's normal to be a little nervous. When we step out of our comfort zone, I'll only be a star. I'll only ever be a star if I overcome my fears. I'm much stronger than my feelings. I can overcome anything. Yeah! Why right, stop yelling at me, lady? I'm just a stuffed doll. Whew, I feel great. Now I'm ready for anything. And that one guy just walked past going, What the heck is that for? Time for a little sword practice. That always calms me down and boosts my confidence. I'll see you later, Peanut. Bye. Will you see me later? Maybe. Maybe not. Sakura is one of the strongest people I know. Please, please quit stroking her ego. She never ceases to amaze me. Still, I'll check on her later to make sure she's fine. Yeah, we'll bet all the other girls. Nope, only Sakura. No. Samir? Nope. Kairu? Kiaru? No. Clarissa? Nope. Uh, Azami? Nope. Anastasia? Nope. Hatsuho? Nope. Just Sakura. Sakura's strongest. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Alright. Well, it looks like uh, Sakura is having a little bit of doubts, but I think she'll, uh, she'll pull through just fine. Oh, make sure to double check on her. What does she say? What do we find out next? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Sakura Wars. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.